So question, has this ever happened to you? You really, really know that certain things to do in life are good for you, like really, really good for you. They help you in a healthy way and everything is all, you know, peaches and roses whenever you think about doing that thing, whatever that thing may be. But then something stops you. Why? Back in a minute. Good afternoon. Good evening. I know sometimes this thing messes up. <laughs> good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hi, this is Jen. Welcome to another episode of Save Money and More with Jen channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. I love helping people keep more of their own hard earned money, but sometimes it takes a little more effort to get there. Now, let me just explain. All right. I record a week in advance. Today is actually June 3rd, Monday. June 3rd, 2024. You will hear this on Monday, June 10th, 2024 for the first time. Why do I record things in advance? People wonder, well, why so early in advance? Well, that's to make sure that you have your shows for the following week. Things could happen in life, or I may want to take a few days off, but you still get your show. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So I like to rest assured, guarantee pretty much that you're going to have your show the following week. That's the way it works for me. I don't do that with dread. I do that with happy anticipation. But there are some things that, well, uh, 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 may take a little more effort <laughs> mentally. Now, I do love to exercise. I'm not going to lie to you. I do. I do. I'm not a freak about it. I just you know, like to take a few, a few moments a day, maybe about 15 to 20 minutes a day. That's it. And it works for me. Um, and one of the things I love to do is I like to get on this little bike thing that I got from that three letter channel about a year and a half or two years ago, could be two years ago, two years ago in December, I believe two years ago, well, yeah, that would make it a year and a half. Now, six out of seven days of the week, I get on there cheerfully, but for some reason, and I'm not sure of the reason, maybe because I'm a human, some, sometimes once a week, or I might even say twice a week, it might take a little Still more like hmm, to push me to get on that bike. Don't ask me why. I guess because I'm human, whatever. But I try to find ways to motivate. I learned something. Okay. So I learned something. If we keep putting things off, you know, it gets worse. It just gets worse. Putting things off, putting things off, you know, exercising every day, trying to eat better. You know, every meal that I get, I examine it and I ask myself, can I make this a little healthier? Could I have less of it? I do. I actually ask myself that question literally in my mind's eye before I prepare it, before I, you know, think about it at the grocery store. I ask myself, could I do something to make it healthier? Okay, don't do it every single time. I wish I did. But I would say about hmm, at least once or twice a day, I look at my meal and say, hmm, what can I do to make this better? Am I perfect about it? No. I am not perfect. Humans are not perfect. We are not perfect. There you go. Just saying, just saying. But what is it that gives people a hassle, even with when it comes to saving money? Mm, uh, uh, and you knew I was going to turn into, into that direction at some point. Why do people give up sometimes on saving money? I don't know, but hang on for a minute. Hopefully this will motivate you. If ever it works, <laughs> let me try this again. As always, I say saving money should never go out of style. 
Work with a way that works for you. If saving money in an envelope every single week and going physically to a real bank does the job for you, great. If you'd rather do it, of course, the very simple digital way, you know, with online banking, great. Whatever way works for you, just, just do it. Just do it because, you know, at the end of the day, it's a better thing for you. Yes, 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 yes. But it's not that simple. Sometimes for whatever the reason, I don't know the reason, we make up these little roadblocks. Oh, I don't feel like exercising. Well, if you think I wake up and feel like exercising every day, not true. Some days I'd rather just kick back and drink a hot chocolate and forget everything. <laughs> I'm just saying. But then I know that if I take too many days of drinking hot chocolate and forgetting everything, that's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Also, when it comes to, let's say, appointments that we dread, ask yourself, is the dread worse than the appointment? How many times has this happened to anybody listening to this broadcast? Let's say that you have a doctor's appointment, right? And you're really, you really dreading this appointment. I'm not saying that you're going to always get great news. I'm not saying that. I'm not. I wish I could, but I'm not. <laughs> but Sometimes the dread, it doesn't even have to be the doctor's appointment. Let's say there's a like a party that you really don't want to go to, but uh, 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 others in your family do want to go there. You don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or upset the apple cart. So you end up going. So what do you do? Some people dread, oh, two weeks to go before we go to that silly, ridiculous event. Blah, it's horrible. I don't want to do it. Then you get there and all those feelings, all those feelings of dread, suddenly melt away. I am convinced, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, I am convinced that we talk ourselves into dread. Uh, I dread it. <laughs> now, if somebody was to say to me, because I make approximately two videos a day for almost every single day of the year, I would say practically every day of the year. So 365 times two is how much? A lot. <laughs> 365 times two is 730. Am I correct? Anyway, whatever about that. 730 videos a year. Somebody would have said to me, you have to. And somebody's pointing a big finger at me, for example. You must record over 700 videos this year. Well, I say year right. Yeah. It's the idea, number one, of somebody pointing their finger in my face, not going to work. <laughs> number two, the have to. No, I don't have to. I choose to. <laughs> but even though I choose to do it, the idea of all those videos. Now, take money, for example, right? Anybody says you have to save, let's say, $10,000 in, in six months. Have to. Must. Must, must, must. Does that kind of like put a little bit of like, uh, like dread into it, like horror into it? Ugh, you know, like that. It's that saying, I'm not saying don't, don't have motivation. Have motivation, of course, but a healthy dose of it. Say to yourself, you know what? I could tackle this. I got this. I'm going to try my best a little bit at a time each and every day. Isn't it a lot easier to handle things a little bit at a time but consistently, this has been my mantra every day, trying to encourage incremental savings, little, little baby bites, but every single day. Two things we have to eliminate, this dread. That's another thing. Some people have a thing I call it Monday-itis. Uh, Monday, Monday, the, most, the worst day of the week, uh, Monday. Why is Monday the worst day of the week? Because you tell yourself it's the worst day of the week. It's not the worst day of the week. Why? Because it just happens to be one of the first work days of the week. It's one of the first work days. Look at it differently. Say, yay, Monday. I get to do this all over again. I get to do a better job. I get to try again. I get to try that much better and get the end result I really wanted. Stop facing life with dread. Facing life with dread does nothing but dredge up. Bad results. Say, I'm going to do my best today and really try your best. And then when the day is over, you can look back and say, you know something? I'm proud of myself for trying. Maybe I didn't hit the goal the way I wanted it to be, but at least I know in the back of my mind that I tried. And if this message reached at least one person 
and they got the it factor listening to it, that I know Jan, I know Jan, and Jan did her job. Very, very good. Have an amazing, fantastic day. And don't forget to do the following if it works. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate everybody's time. Don't forget to come back Monday through Friday at 5 a.m. For my no frills videos, more than a minute, less than five. Then come back again in the afternoon, usually about 2 p.m. Eastern. Come back, I think, every day except Fridays. Fridays may be a different time on Friday afternoon. That's why you need to click the what? Notification bell. Take good care, everybody. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Let's end it on a very happy note. care of yourself and your amazing family.